ATA for refusing to help out with my dad's new wife's kids like I help with my siblings? My dad got married four months ago and his new wife has three kids, seven, five, and four. Dad has me, 16M, and my siblings, 13F, 11F, 9M. Our mom died five years ago. Not sure about the other kids' dads? They don't have anything to do with their dads. My relationship with my dad has been strained for years. I have a plan I put into place last year to get me out as soon as I'm 18. I don't want a relationship with my dad. I don't want to fix things or to make the most of things for now. I just want to keep my eye on the prize, but I help my siblings when I need to. Sometimes it's walking them to school, don't have a car. Sometimes it's buying them a little something. Sometimes it's helping with homework or getting them some food or picking them up from someplace. It's not all the time, though I do buy them little snacks or whatever if they want to walk home with me instead of taking the bus. Just for some sibling time and to spoil them a little since dad was never into that. My dad's wife has a problem that I still do this stuff for my siblings, but I don't do a thing for her kids. I don't even really talk to them unless they talk to me first. She has asked me to pick them up or feed them lunch once or twice, and I say no. Since going back to school, I was asked to help all the kids with homework and not just my siblings, even though they do their homework in different rooms. My siblings in my room. The new wife's kids in the kitchen. But the most controversial was when I walked my siblings home from school and bought them ice cream on the way. I didn't get anything for the other kids and I didn't try to take the others with me. Just my siblings. So dad and his wife sat me down a few days ago and told me I should treat all the kids the same and should be willing to help them all. I said no. I said I won't. She argued that this would be a good way to form a stronger family connection. I told her there is no family connection and there will never be. She and her kids are not my family just like he isn't, dad. I told her the only family I have in their house is my siblings and they won't change my mind. She wanted to know if I'd go to therapy with them and give it a chance, and I said no. Dad was already doing other stuff by that point. She told me we could make it work, and her kids would love to have me as a big brother. And by doing some stuff every now and again could be nice. I said no. She didn't like that and told me I'm old enough to know and do better. Aida, underscore, random underscore walker, underscore said, NTA, you're already going above and beyond for your biological siblings. You don't owe that to anyone, it's your choice. Stepmom wanting a better bond might be genuine or not. Hard to judge from just a few paragraphs. But initially sounds a lot like her main interest is you helping out. Louis Fee 25 said, NTA. One, dad and stepmom are responsible for treating all kids equally and that includes treating you equally. Two, you are not the third parent. If she needs help, she can find their dads, paternal relatives, or a babysitter. Three. The bond you have with your siblings had a 9, 11, and 13 year start. Four months does not a sibling bond make. Four, it is bad enough that you are a second parent to your three siblings. I don't blame you for not wanting responsibility for six kids. Five, all you owe those kids is you being polite and respectful. You do not have to carry their parents' or step-parents' load. Six, people need to learn that family is a relationship, which takes time to build. Marriage makes you related, not family. Seven, Bonds are created over time not by forcing a kid to parent other kids. No way I would help six kids do homework when I have my own. No way I would wrangle six kids from school. Best of luck. Tiny Extreme 4127 said, You're old enough to know better. And your sperm donor's new wife is old enough to know better than trying to force something that will never happen. Edit NTA.